Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm behind the camera again, but don't worry, I have filmed some uh, videos with me in front of the camera, for those of you who are wondering. Um, it's just I'm limited with light. I do not own ring lights. I don't really know if I ever will, but so with a couple hours of sunlight, of decent sunlight in the specific spot where I film, um, doesn't leave me a lot of time, especially when you work full time. So anyway. Um, first of all, uh, this is the first candle that was selected for the Winter Throwback Thursday from my fellow island girl, Tessie Kins. So she picked, um, this is actually from the holiday collection of 2015. This is Bath and Body Works Pomegranate Prosecco Punch. And, um, I actually received this from Santa in my stocking when, I guess it would have been probably... Two years ago, I guess. I guess if it's 2015 holidays. So it came with this lid here. It was kind of like their um, new... It wasn't necessarily titled a New Year's themed candle selection that came out like this. And um, I have another one similar packaging, the champagne toast and things like that. But technically like the more New Year's type. Not necessarily Christmas. So anyway, I do not have scent note descriptions. It's been a while. I did try to look a little bit, but I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time looking for scent note descriptions when what I'll tell you based on the title, pomegranate, obviously, that is a fruit, prosecco and punch. So prosecco is, uh, from what I gather, is an Italian kind of like, because you can't have champagne. You can't, it's not champagne unless it's made from the champagne area in France. So it's sort of like the Italian's version of champagne or bubbly or sparkling um, wine punch so pomegranate you know add some pomegranate to it now you guys know I'm not huge into packaging but I did really like I wish that this little sticker would have gone all the way around I thought that would have been cool but it was nice I do like the pink wax that is also nice and the lids like I said before it was st not standard it was for this collection but it's also very nice Okay, so let's get into scent appeal on cold. So I received this. I really liked it. It smells so good on cold. There's like a bit of a tartness to it. Um, so I would give this an 8.5 out of 10 on cold. Now, I wasn't able to select this candle myself. Santa Claus did. But Santa, um, the, the wicks were always like this. So the wicks weren't placed in the best positions. But I will say... I haven't had any issue whatsoever when it comes to the burn thus far. I have burned more than half of this candle. Um, the wicks have been just beautiful. They're just a dancing flame, nothing major, nothing super mushroomy. It's not um, sooting up the nice baby pink wax on the inside. It's uh, very, very clear. There's no, like I said, no soot along the side, but that could change towards the bottom, which will... I always will share with you guys towards the end, like when I finish burning this in my empties, you'll see what I think of it from the bottom half. Because my thoughts on the burn or the scent could change between now and then. And any candle, basically. And <coughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, um, when it comes to the scent, though, while burning, it's strong. I will say this much. It is actually a pretty... I didn't give it as much credit... From cold as I would have thought it would have done on warm in fact it did really well on when it was burning it threw like crazy I would give this an 8 out of 10 for one three wick candle from Bath and Body Works this did really well I've had this burning actually right there on top of the Santa sleigh and I this is in my dining room so you know above this candle above and beyond this candle there are a wa there's a wax melt behind me in my kitchen and to the right of this camera screen is my living room. So And those normally are the same scent and then this would be the only scent. But I could definitely pick this out, not a problem. It definitely came out, but it wasn't clawing like, for me, Bath & Body Works, um, what is it? Pumpkin pecan waffles is just too clawing or summer boardwalk. That's just too much for me. This was actually just right. So I, the throw was fantastic. I would, yeah, eight and a half, nine <coughs> for sure. And as far as scent appeal when burning, that's where I think, that's where I think it gets a little less points because while burning, mm, I get a baby powder note to the scent. And I don't enjoy baby powder scents. 
And I also, and I will say the same thing. I thought, well, maybe, you know, I'll try this because the pomegranate candle. I've not burned a candle with pomegranate in it yet up till now. And I, but I have melted some wax melts from vendors with pomegranate and I haven't enjoyed them. And I've come to realize in vendor wax, I don't enjoy pomegranate. It seemed to be the cons consistent scent in some of the things that I was melting at the time. So unfortunately, I wouldn't repurchase the scent because of the pomegranate. Um, I wish I got more of the punch, like the gin fizz, like a little fizzy note to it would be great. Um, a little more tartness to it to take out the baby powder note that I'm getting. Maybe throw a little bit more tartness. Maybe a cranberry pomegranate lemon would be really great. Um, just something like that. I think this would have been really good uh, that way. I just, unfortunately, it wasn't my favorite burning but I'm glad I tried it and Santa did a great job um, giving it a shot the good college try I just about punched the camera hi <laughs> sorry anyway um okay <clears throat> so thank you very much Tessie Kins my fellow Vancouver Island gal uh, for selecting this candle this week like I said I am glad I burnt it I'm obviously going to continue burning this it just I think it's the pomegranate that just does me in that I just yeah that's not me and pomegranate not so much okay so let's just grab now i've said before with these glade candles there's a couple that i have wax melts of so if the glade candle in candy sparkling joy gets picked i will also melt alongside the wax melts as well <clears throat> and on the same note for that the glade frosting with love sorry frosting it's a bit shiny frosting with love and then the wax melt there too We have the Cozy Cider Sipping from Glade. Oh, there's the other one there. And Tree Trimming a Wonder from Glade. All right, so then we have this little hobnail jar from Bath & Body Works in Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I'm just randomly picking them up, you guys. So we have a Root Legacy Candle in Tobacco Vanilla. We also have another root candle in candy cane. This is the old packaging on both those last root ones as well. They have changed the packaging since. And I'm bringing some stuff forward. This is a company here on Vancouver Island. Oops, just trying to get the information here. It's the Fanny Bay Candle Company. And this candle is in Mulberry. So it's a really hefty little candle there. And just like I mentioned in the Prosecco Punch, this also came out in the same collection. This is Champagne Toast. It's actually, I believe it's out right now, or it will be out being released fully in Bath & Body Works if it hasn't already. And here's like a candle that it seems like I don't even think they brought it back this year for 2017. But it's Cranberry Woods. Um, still second to my Frosted Cranberry, but I really like this one. I think this is from 2016 or 2015. I couldn't, I can't remember. <clears throat> now on to some wax melts. Sensational's Glistening Snowflakes. Rum Brulee. Mistletoe Kisses. Scarlet Cypress Wreath. Balsam and Birch. Perfectly Pine. Sorry, guys. Holiday Home. And then Goose Creek. I have two wax melts from Goose Creek. For my friends Myra and Kyla, we have peppermint. And lastly, we have holiday rum cake. Sorry, trying to get the best picture there. Holiday rum cake. So you guys, this is all my selection. So the first person down below in the description bar that mentions what they would like for me to either burn or melt, please uh, leave that comment down below and I will acknowledge that. And then I will either be burning or melting your choice next week. All right, you guys. 
Have a fantastic rest of your week. Have an enjoyable weekend. If you have Christmas parties coming up, don't forget to, to you know, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. Um, drive to your weather conditions. I know everywhere around is different, but um, I know that it's also getting very cold or very wet in this area or any other area around the world too. If it doesn't snow, it's probably raining. If it's not raining, unfortunately, there's drunk drivers out there. So anyway, you guys be safe as always. Take care and have fun. Bye, everyone.